In Ukraine, fighting around the eastern frontline city of Bakhmut remains intense, with both sides determined to hold their ground. To advance, Ukraine desperately needs tanks of the type the UK has just announced it will send. Poland is poised to send a squadron of German-made Leopard 2 tanks, but that needs Berlin's approval. At the World Economic Forum, the Polish president expressed his hope that it would come soon. Or not. The pressure of uh, political, German political stage and, and, and German public opinion is becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. So I, I hope that the result of all that and elements, uh, that the, all that elements will result in, in, in this very, 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 very needed decision. In another development, the UN's atomic agency, the IAEA, has finally started deploying experts at four sites to ensure their safe operation. The idea is to leave a group of experts behind in each location to support Ukrainian staff. Working hand, uh, hand in hand with, with our Ukrainian uh, hosts, uh, to facilitate some technical support, delivery of equipment, uh, to make sure that all these facilities can continue running uh, normally and without any problem. Ukraine also needs economic support. That's what EU finance ministers have been discussing. They're aiming to find ways to secure long-term sustainable financial backing for the war-ravaged country.